Okay, I'm going to show you how to get started using Weebly for Education. And it's very important that you sign up as a teacher to get a free education account as opposed to just the regular free account that won't allow you to create more than five pages. And so here we go. I'm on the Weebly for Education website. That address is education.weebly.com. And I'm going to fill out the Get Started Now field right now. And here I go. I'm going to give myself a username, um, gsherman37. Give myself a password and sign up with an email account. Just use your Radford account if you want, if you don't already have a Weebly account. Email. OK. I accept all the terms and services. I'm going to, I'll read them later. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, I tried to skip this this step when I did a test run, and it, it wouldn't let me. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill this this part out. Um, as far as school name goes, you can put whatever you want. I will just put uh, the word Radford. You don't have to fill out school district. And I will just submit that field. And then when you get to this screen, go ahead and click on the Create a Website button just like that. You'll be asked what's the focus of your site and we are going to have it be just the site on the left. I clicked on that. And then you come to the choose a theme options and I recommend to start with selecting a real simple theme. You can change all of this later once you get um, your feet wet working with Weebly. And so you're going to see some really fun themes. Some of them are going to be too busy for you to be able to, um, to to work with. I do encourage you though to be as as creative as possible. I am going to, I think I'll pick this one with the big picture here. I can imagine something, um, something um, dramatic for me, maybe climbing a mountain or something. I'm gonna, and you can pick what color buttons and menu options you want for your, um, for your site. I'll pick that kind of dusty blue. So I'll choose that, and then you are, start, are, are started to set up your site. When you get to this screen where it says choose your website domain, unless you want to pay for uh, your own domain, your own web domain, go ahead and use the first option, which is to use a subdomain of Weebly. And this is where you just need to type in a unique name, uh, for the first part of your web address, and it should probably have something with your name in it. I'll just type in G Sherman 2, and that's available. Um, and this could be anything that you want it to be, as long as it's available. Click on Continue. Welcome to Weebly, the surprisingly and easy way to make a high quality a website, welcome to a blog, video. or online store. I'll close that, because I already know my way around, uh, around Weebly. Around Weebly, listen to me. So here you are um, in the Weebly interface, and I, from this point on, you're going to create pages and get to know how to edit, edit the Weebly pages and, and to publish them. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of quick things about creating pages, and then the rest you can learn on your own just playing with the software and reading all the help files. Um, so I'm going to click on Pages, and this gives me a list of all the pages over here on the left that I already have in my site. Um, and by the way, um, I'm going to delete the contact page because I don't, I don't need that built in. Um, and I'm also going to delete the about page because I need to create a new one of these. So I'm going to delete that page. So now all I have is my home page and it's selected as the landing page and I'm going to keep it that way. But I'm going to add a new page by just clicking on the add page button and I'll click a standard page and I know that one of the first pages I need for this course is going to be called about me and I like to have no headers on any of the sub pages that you're going to be creating the headers just take up too much uh, real estate on your website so I have my about me page and I'm going to keep that one I'm also going to add a page I know that one of the pages I need to add for this site is called instruction um, and I'm going to type in the word instruction as my as my title. There it is. And again, no header on that. 
And actually, um, you're going to create some menu pages, but that are going to be uh, become um, sub menus or when you mouse over them, there'll be pop-up menus and you're going to have to create quite a few project pages under instruction. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real fast. I'm going to create another page, a standard page, and I'm going to call this, I'll just, for now, I'll just call this uh, project uh, number one. And these all have titles that, that you'll give it, you'll learn more about that. And that's also going to have no header. And one of the things that you do in order to make project one be a, a sub menu under your instruction um, category of project of pages is you just mouse over it and click and drag it to the right until it's indented. So now I'm going to, so check this out. I'm going to save and edit this page. And again, I'm getting these, um, these help tags when I'm because I'm starting to use this um, for, for the first time. So I'm going to click on that and you'll notice now when I mouse over my menu or I click on it um, and I go to the word instruction, there's my project number one page. And I'm just going to be on the on the build section here and you're going to learn how to use these different areas to build your pages. If you need help, there's a, um, a help button up here. And one last thing I want to show you before I end this getting started video is when you, in order for me to be able to see your, your, the changes you make on your site, I, you have to publish every time that you want um, to, for, for your changes to be made public. So I'm, I'm clicking on the publish button and just keep the default top one always selected. I'm going to click continue. Um, it, it wants me to categorize my website. You only have to do this once and I'll pick education and I'll click teacher and then I'll say don't ask me again. I'm going to I'm going to submit that. And then here's one thing that that you have to be uh, aware of. They're trying to sell you on this screen. They're trying to sell you on buying a subdomain here. But th this is just you don't have to worry about any of this stuff down here. Your website has been published. And here it is up here. This is the, so you, you click on this link in order to view it up here. Don't worry about anything else down here. Just that link right there. And that shows you your website. Um, and as you can see, click on the menu, click on instruction. There's project number one. And that's where my, that, that's where my project number one page will be created. So that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, I hope you find it as easy uh, to use as as other basic web web development tools and you'll be learning a little bit more about what you need to do um, throughout the class so good luck uh, starting your web